We can be a member of Anonymous. <laughs>
obviously the RZ mask filters are going to be probably the best way to go. But um, for you know the people who are on a, a budget, you get the RZ the the main mask, and then pick up like a hundred of these or whatever, you know, and you could just stick them inside there like that if you needed to. So that, that's an additional option. It's, you know, it can be used different ways, I guess. RZmask.com is the only one, the only guys that I've seen that make something like this. So let me go ahead and real quick go over the, the different kinds of masks that, that we've got here. So the first one is their M5 uh, emergency filtration mask. And um, it comes with an extra filter comes with an extra filter here and you basically just pop that out and then you know like I said these these are replaceable by um, just taking these exhaust valves all you got to do is just unscrew it I don't know if you can see that if you just unscrew it then you can just stick this one right in and it's good to go now this one is a kind of a mesh you can kind of see through it still really you know sturdy and everything like that um, but it's it's not going to be give you as much you know protection in cold weather and stuff like that primarily designed for you know the you know first responder kind of incidences or you know something along those lines I think um, then they also it also sends with it a um, comes with a nice bag it's kind of a nylon bag it's got a zipper on top and then it has this little key here that can be used to turn, you know, it fits in here to turn the, uh, the little valve so that you can take that off if you need to. So that's kind of cool. Um, so they've really thought this out, you know, pretty well. And you basically just put these in there and, and in your bag. And then um, they've also got replacement filters, pretty reasonably priced. Um, three filters here. I, if I want to... I remember correctly it was like seven bucks six or seven bucks for the replacement filters too um, and these are their level three um, kind of their best filter and it goes down to 0.01 microns and then it also has an active carbon layer in there as well so that's going to help a lot with uh, chemicals and smoke and you know stuff like that so um, these are not a smoke inhalation mask or anything like that but that activated carbon layer is definitely going to help reduce some of those toxins and stuff like that and keep it out of your lungs. Um, there is one difference that I should point out too. These are um, NIOSH uh, certified. Um, these masks are not and I don't know the reason for that because everything that I can find when I'm looking at them shows me that these are a better mask than what these are. Now. I don't know what the guidance is. Maybe it's through they haven't gotten it through the testing process yet, or I'm not really sure what it is. But a 0.1 micron filtration is what these are supposed to give you. So that is um, an excellent, you know, level. And bacteria is at 0.2 or 0.3 microns. So you're getting a very good level of protection. And from my experience in wearing these, you're also getting a better fit you're getting a much better fit on the face and you know it's staying right there close to your face um, and they're gonna last you know a good long while too okay guys so I'll just go ahead and give you a real quick demonstration on you know putting one on it's obviously self-explanatory but just really to show you the fit and that kind of thing so this is the uh, the 2x and like I said I mean it fits really really well it doesn't, you know, snug too much to my face or anything like that. It doesn't restrict breathing too much. You know, I can breathe very easily. I'd be able to work and that kind of thing in this if I needed to. Um, you know, it's not bad. I mean, it really fits very nicely and very comfortably. You could be a member of Anonymous. <laughs> anyway, all right, so that's pretty much that. Uh, so the second one here is really cool, especially for hunters. If you are a hunter, um, this is, this is going to be the thing for you. 
So it comes in a nice mossy oak pattern. It's, it's uh, construction is very similar. You've got the ex exhaling valves there. You've got the, um, the adjustable nose piece here. And, and then you've got, uh, what's a little different is you've got neoprene construction on this. And got a you know, very aggressive uh, Velcro on this. And again, really holds strong. Um, now the cool part about this is that with this one, you'll notice a slight difference here. So let me just point it out to you. So on this one, you've got the exhaust valves on the inside, so you're directly exhaling straight out. Okay. Now for this one, this was designed for hunting. You'll notice that the exhaust valves are on the outside, and with the filter here, this filter has got an active carbon layer in it, so you're exhaling through the activated car carbon layer. So that means that the animals that you're hunting and that kind of stuff are going to have less of an opportunity to be able to smell you, you know, your scent when you're breathing out and all that, um, than it would with another type of mask or whatever, or without having one at all. But you're still able to maintain good camouflage and all that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, the filters just snap in place you know very easily they got some little snaps on here and so I thought that was uh, I thought that was really cool so this one is kind of their general purpose utility one um, uh, this is in uh, 2x um, and let's see this one is a youth sized and then this one over here is a, um, a regular and they basically go off of uh, the weight of the person. So for the for the 2x one, they say that you basically want to be 235 pounds or over. Um, so I'm 250, and this fits perfectly. It fits very good. I don't, it's very comfortable. I don't have any issues with it. It's not too tight or anything like that. It it fits you know nicely. Um, same basic construction as the hunting one, except for now we're back to the uh, exhaling vents being on the inside of the mask. So that's pretty cool. All right, um, now let me see. So as far as the, uh, as far as how long these things last, it, they say basically 10 to 20 hours of continuous use in heavy dust, exposure to grain bins, off-road, construction, demolition, etc. cetera. Um, so that's 10 to 20 hours. Then 30 to 40 hours of continuous use in light dust exposure in the same kind of you know situations and 50 to 60 hours of continuous use when protecting against allergens pollution odors etc and then 60 hours of use when you're just using it for cold weather so um, they're definitely gonna last you know they, they definitely having that exfiltration uh, feature on there I think really helps you know last a lot longer um, the, ob the other thing that you have as far as including these into a bug out bag, the other obvious benefit is if you're um, wanting to conceal your identity, then, you know, having on a, a mask or something like that, then that's going to be able to help with that. It's also, like I said, the neoprene versions are going to help in cold weather. Um, so that's another, it's a personal protection thing that can be used um in cold weather even if the mask if the filter is uh degraded and, and had run out or whatever you know you can still use this as a neoprene mask so that's pretty cool too um all in all i, I really don't see any downsides to these I, i'll put the the link in the description like i said um i don't remember the price right off the top of my head i want to say they were somewhere in the range of 25 to 30 dollars or something like that um but, you know, like I said, just click in the description, take a look at them, see what you think. So, anyhow, guys, as always, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper. Prior preparation. Prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.
biggest time wasters is driving to and from work every day. I can't text, I can't email, it's boring, and it wastes my time. But I started using Audible, listening to audiobooks as I drive. Audible gave me back two hours per day, and I love it. Click the link in the description below to get 30 days free, plus a free audiobook from audible.com when you sign up for the service.